This is the rear master cylinder off of a 78 Yamaha XS1100. I'm going to be rebuilding it and putting it back together. Uh, first, go ahead and crack the screws on the top so that we can drain the any fluid. This was on a bike that sat for some time, approximately 14 years. So, we're probably dry, but we'll see what it is. Still got some in there, but it's not good looking. So we're gonna pour all that out. Also, while we got it hanging over, we'll pull the banjo off. Some of the fluid should have come out when you pulled the banjo off of the out of the brake line. But all right. Next, we're gonna take the reservoir off. We'll be cleaning all of this later. Go ahead and pop the metal piece out. This should come out, it's pressed in, but it should slide a little bit. We'll go ahead and clean some of it out just to get better grip on it. So remember that it is plastic, so it won't, it'll crack very easily, but I just kinda work it a little bit with a little small screwdriver. Just be careful you don't do too hard or all the same box will crack it. Set that to the side. You can see there's just a bunch of garbage down in there. Go ahead and get some more of that out. Spray some of it. Looks like there's almost sand in there. Next, we're gonna spray just a little bit down there just in case we need gunk in there. So we can work with a somewhat clean surface. All right, first we're gonna take the dust cover off. And I can already see in there that it is corroded, rusty, just all sorts of gross in there. So we're gonna try to clean that off, see if we can even get close to the cylinder close to the clips. So there's a circlip in there. You see right there, there's a eyelid for it. We're gonna use some pliers. These ones are a little extreme, but this, because for the front master cylinder, you need something like this to do it. Well, that's in there so hard that it broke the teeth on my <laughs> on my clips, which is frustrating. So we'll pop it out with a screwdriver. It's just when we put one back in, we have to get a new set. So this was stuck to the washer. So that was impossible to get out. Usually you just go get another tool since I broke mine and that'd be make it easier, but I'll go get one later today. This was stuck to the side and the cylinder because it was stuck. It was rusted to it. But now the piston can come out, which this is what this one looked like. And let's grab the new one. 
looks like that. As you can see, this one is horrid, to say the least. So, we'll go ahead and set that in our bucket. And there's a spring inside of there that you need to fish out. And really, we're just going to start cleaning this out. Try to get as much crap out there as we can. So if you look actually down in the cylinder, it doesn't look that bad. It's just right here around the top. So I'm going to do the, the, the rag trick that most people hate, but... I don't have the right tools to do this, so I just get a, a shop rag and kind of just lightly tuck it in there with a screwdriver. Try to get some of it clean. All right, so first move this all aside. We're going to put together the piston and the new kit from Tormax comes with all new pistons and everything and seals all right so by the looks of it two seals one goes up here one goes down there and this cap looks like it goes on the end right here so first we have to get this one on which if you look at the inside diameters, they're different. So I'm going to use the bigger one to slide it up over. This is kind of tricky because getting it over all of that, you have to use a screwdriver and you have the tendency of breaking things when you use a screwdriver or a pick. Just start working it around. Like that. And then you got one more to go after. Same thing, get it over with a screwdriver and then work it with your fingers. Like so. There's a little bit of spread on there, but we'll clean that off before we put it on. And next is this one. Make sure that it, the cone is facing in so that that divot is back there so you can put this piece on it. Like so. And then the spring, which will go in right here. All right, now that we've gotten the uh, everything cleaned out, we can go ahead and put the screen, spring in. Remember to put the, uh, the little cap right on the seal. I put a little bit of uh, brake fluid on this so it'll go in a little easier. So you get the first one in and then the second one kind of just, you wiggle it down. That's in. Put you in, I just drop the ring.
that's not all the way in. We just need to make sure that goes in. We're going to use, where's my little screwdriver? That of course is missing. I'm just going to push it in. nicely in the little groove which it looks like it is pretty close there we go so now we have a master cylinder that works we'll go ahead and bolt all the rest of it back up including the, uh, the we'll start by cleaning all this a little bit So I'm going to put it all back together, but we're not going to put fluid in it yet until it's bolted to the bike. All right. So the new rebuild kit didn't come with a dust seal. So we're going to clean the inside of that one out because you can see it's pretty janky. And just pop that over. And if you push the cylinder down, it'll help get the dust seal popped on. All right, and then clean the banjo off. And we'll put that back in there until we're ready to bolt it back to the bike. So that's it. We'll bolt it back on and test it out here in a minute. 